Hey everyone, this is Dr. Dan. We're going to talk about cell culture. The first thing we want to think about is where we can store cells. So normally so cells are stored long terms in liquid nitrogen. Um, they could be that way for many years. And so here's a small liquid nitrogen uh, flask that contains a bunch of cells. So when I do this, I'm going to be really quick about it because I don't want everybody else's saws, cells in here to thaw out prematurely. So I'm going to just grab my cells. I know where they're located. Um, and so that's the important thing about keeping records of where you put your cells so you can quickly go in, get your box out, and get everything. So I do have a glove on that will help me with the cold because it is very cold in there. Um, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like to get some cells out of liquid nitrogen. Open this thing up. So I know my cells are in column three over here. And I'm going to go ahead and dump off the liquid part of the nitrogen. So it goes back into the, the container so we don't lose too much of it. Okay, and I, so I know my cells are here in this second one, so I'm going to quickly do this. And I have to be careful because there is still some liquid nitrogen uh, floating around in here. And these boxes are cold. Okay, here we go. Okay, and so I know I want to grab two of these cells again. I'm going to use the tweezers to do that. I'm going to note what these are. Right? I'm going to make sure they're the right ones. 3T3 cells uh, from me, passage 133. Okay. And this is the same thing. Perfect. Okay, so those are my cells. So I quickly put this back. Put the little lock back in here so that these boxes don't fall out. And get this back in the tank nice and quickly. All right, so that's all there is to cell culture, uh, getting your cells out for cell culture. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw these in our minus 80 degree freezer. It's very similar to this downstairs um, while I get everything else ready, but I just wanted to retrieve it from liquid nitrogen first. All right, y'all, so now I'm back in the uh, junior lab room, and so we're going to get ready to do some cell culture. So I need to warm up stuff in the water bath first, including my media, and I also need to get the biological safety cabinet ready. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up the biological safety cabinet. We want to open up to the marks on either side that shows us how high it's supposed to be. It will stop beeping once we get it there. Um, I can turn on the light while I'm waiting, which is just that button. And so what we're waiting for is now this green light says we've opened it up far enough. We're waiting for this other green light to light up to tell us the flow has been established. Okay, so over here in the water bath, like I said, we're going to warm up our media which I already got out of the refrigerator. Um, the other thing we need to warm up is, uh, to make our media, is some bovine calf serum and some penicillin streptomycin antibiotic solution. So I'm going to put these in here as well. Usually I have some sort of rack in here, but it doesn't really matter too much. Let's put this in here. Um, and so while, while we're waiting for all that, uh, we'll be waiting for this as well. and. We'll see that that light will eventually turn. And so the first step in the process is to spray things down with ethanol. Now, again, we don't expect ethanol to sterilize anything, but it is going to just kind of clean things. So when you spray your hands, you definitely want to use a liberal amount of ethanol on your hands. Rub it in really good. Get all the spots, right? So when you stick your hands in there, they will be disinfected. We're going to go ahead and disinfect as much as we can the bottom surface of the uh, of everything in there. I'm gonna go ahead and take this to rub it in. It's not really to dry the ethanol. That's not our goal. It's just to make sure all the surfaces kind of get wetted with ethanol. Okay, because we want the ethanol to evaporate and therefore kill any uh, microorganisms. All right, so I'm just gonna throw this away in the biohazard box. Okay, and so now we're ready. When this stuff warms up, I'm gonna go ahead and bring it into the um, biological safety cabinet and make media, and then I have the cells that I brought down from upstairs in the liquid nitrogen tank in our minus 80 degree freezer 
that we'll also thaw and bring in uh, and plate today. Okay, the last thing I want to talk to you guys about today is lab notebooks. And so, like I said, you can either use a OneNote lab notebook or a physical lab notebook. And so I just want to show you what I would have done for today. Um, in my OneNote notebook, I would have, you know, summarized all the steps so that I could easily glance over and see, okay, here are the things that I need to do, right? And then you can see off to the right here, I then have the results, right? That I say I retrieved true cryovials and this is what they said on them. So that makes it clear that that is where I got the cells from. Um, and so it's very easy to do. Uh, the other way to do it would be a physical lab notebook, which you can see pictured here. And so in this case, I just, since I already typed it out, I just, you know, printed that out and uh, taped it into the lab notebook. Um, you can see I hand wrote the results in here. Um, and so you have to really think about what kind of lab notebook you want to take, especially when you're working with like a biological lab. Um, it's a little different when working with teammates as well versus working by yourself. For instance, working with teammates, it's really nice to have somebody there to like read the steps to you and who can like be taking notes who or who can have their computer uh, in their hand and not worry about like contaminating it with cells because they're not touching the cells. The person who's doing all the work in the biological safety cabinet is touching the cells. And so even when I am alone in there doing stuff by myself, I will tend to like write things down first uh, in like a physical lab notebook or even just piece of paper. And then after I'm all done, I'll go ahead and type it into my OneNote notebook. That way I don't have to worry about like going back and forth and contaminating my computer with my hands. Uh, even if they have gloves and they've been sprayed with ethanol, you don't want to be touching your computer with that um, after you've just been in the biological safety cabinet. So those are just things to think about. You guys will have to plan out your lab notebooks. I'm just gonna kind of show you some examples of how it should be done these first couple days, right? There's, that's what, it's so important to plan first, to write all the planning out so that you know what you're doing when you get in there. And then, you're gonna, then you just have space for the results. Uh, like I left space in either of my notebook I, on the side, I can just write the results that come, come through. Okay, and that's all for getting ready. And in the next videos, I'll start to show you what we need to do for cell culture.